Okay, what I'm gonna do now is record a test vlog on my Sony uh, HX80. I'm going to try and paint this piece of wood. Uh, let's do this. Wow, intense. Enhance, enhance, enhance. I'm gonna try to paint this piece of wood with three different stains. These stains have been in my house for quite a while. Uh, I've lived here for a few years and they've been in the house longer than I have. So I don't know if stain goes bad or not, but I saw a tutorial, someone uh, making wood look distressed. I have a crafting idea for my D&D DIY. I'm going to make a box that I'm calling the, I don't know, adventure box, the game box, the night game box I don't know um, you'll find out when you see the video so I want to stain this and then I'm gonna do a watered-down brushing of black paint over it and it's gonna make it look aged and distressed if it works or not who knows let's find out together so I'm gonna need a screwdriver to open up Not a drummer, I should never try to be. Um, I should probably get. Hmm. Don't fall in, camera. What do you think? It's gonna be a little off color. Maybe it just needs a good old fashioned stir job. Stir, 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 stir. <clears throat> Luckily, I have some stuff down here somewhere. Oh, those should work well. Some popsicle sticks. I'll stir them up. Make sure that they actually work and do something. Stain that is, not the uh, popsicle sticks. One, two, thrice. As you can see, the table is now littered with popsicle sticks. <coughs> so. One lid off. I feel like I should be wearing gloves, but I don't have any gloves. One lid. Now I know nothing, not a thing about stain. Nothing at all. I've never stained anything uh, before. I have a feeling that's not how it's supposed to look. What is this? This is... A gel stains, maybe that is how it's supposed to look. Colonial maple. Mm. Sophisticated, yet charming. Okay, uh, there's number two. Colonial maple. Now we'll go for what's behind. Lid number three. I'm expecting something similar. This looks like it's gel stain as well. So I'm expecting something similar to that last can. <laughs> Heave! Ho! Oh. oh, top of the mirror into you can. I don't know if this comes off. Maybe some sort of ancient evil sealed within here. There is no stain. There is only... Oh. This one, as I guessed, is pretty much the same as that second can I opened, the gel stain. I don't know how I feel about that. Denied. Manipulated. Betrayed. Hmm. <clears throat> some paper towel. Keep things clean-ish. So yeah, so basically what the, the thought process is, is I'll rub a bit of one on here, wipe it off, fairly quickly with some paper towel. Then I'll wipe the second on here. Wipe it off quickly with some paper towel. And then I'll do the third up here and wipe it off quickly. You guessed it, with some paper towel. Um, I feel like I'm gonna need three separate paintbrushes for this and probably have to throw them out after the fact. Where are my brushes? Hmm, lots of good choices. Some of these have been used, used before. 
well, pretty much all of them have been used before, but they're dollar store brushes, so I'm not too, too worried about it. I want something thick like this, but I feel like that might be overkill also, so maybe I'll go for something a little more like that. I know not too much about paint brushes. I know that I use them, and that's pretty much about it. Huh, I want to get a fair coat on it, so I feel like I should use one of these wider brushes. <clears throat> maybe this one. This one seemed pretty on point. And hey look, this one looks the same. Back we go. I said back we go, come on. There we go. Now, first things first, I'm not sure if I need to or would want to stir the gel ones, but I definitely need to, ooh, and one to. Oh, it's very separated. Ooh. Seems to be unseparating fairly quick though. Fairly quick. Look at this. Reach out. Watch this. Don't fall over. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it go. It's like riding the train for the first time. I don't know what I mean by that. I don't think that's a saying. If that's a saying, I don't want to use it anymore. Mm, stir it up. Stir, 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 stir. Look at that. It's like chocolate pudding. It's like chocolate pudding. You'll be able to tell pretty quickly that I do amazing accents. It's like chocolate pudding. They usually all end up sounding just like a, a sloppy Irish accent. With a bit of Newfie thrown in and a small pinch of French. I don't know if it's going to get any better than this. Like I said, this stuff is old. I feel like this stuff was old when I moved in here and I moved in here two years ago, two and a half years ago. I'm not gonna go crazy with it, I don't need it to be perfect. Just need it to work. I don't know what I mean by that. So I got a piece of plastic here. I'm gonna set the stick, the old stick on the plastic when I take it out of the can. Shemizel, schlepons. Here, that will be sufficient. I've decided to put that on the plastic. I'm going to keep this on hand so I need it to rub. What I might do is set another piece underneath. So, this will be my rubbing piece. I'm going to need a full one for each rub. I'm going to go fairly light with it. Enough so I know it's there, but not so much that I'm wasting. Waste not, what not. If I do end up using this. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. The moment of truth. Can number one. Here we go. Number one. Number one, now the can has just begun. Let's go crazy. That's a nice dark stain, I like that. I'm gonna rub it off before it dries very much. I uh, dry you very much. That should be sufficient, I think. Never having done this before, in my expert opinion, I will say that is sufficient. Now, we're going to go with mystery meat number two, but we will probably need, ooh, that smells varnishy. Never worked with the varnish before, and I'm starting to get dizzy. No, I'm not. I'm assuming you probably should do this in a well-ventilated area, but I'm not doing very much for very long, so I will not adhere to the standard of practice. Ooh. This stuff just keeps getting stranger and stranger. 
I wish you could feel what it feels like to mix this. It's so strange, it's so satisfying. It's like a hot knife through butter. I feel like this is how this is supposed to be. Is this consistent? This It says gel on the can, so it must. If you know, go ahead and throw a comment down below. If this seems right, if it feels right, then who are we to judge? Let's mix it up. Oh, varnish, or not varnish stain. Let's mix it up. That's all that one's getting. It's getting a little weird now. Okay. So let's try this one on. Oh, that's a different color. I would call that diarrhea brown. Ew, gross. Mister, you're weird. All right. Now, numero three. Where's my stick? Here it is. I'll stir this one up a bit. Again, same consistency as the last, which makes a lot of sense because they're both gels. But it seems... I don't know what the difference is or what the meaning, like why you would pick one over the other, obviously, because I don't know anything about this stuff. But this stuff seems like it would be better because it, it's holding up well to time. A light stirring and it well it the consistency didn't change much at all it seems like the consistency that it is is the consistency that it should be okay and we're gonna go with a little bit of this or a lot of it whichever we choose this one is greenish like an army green That should be sufficient. They're magically sufficient. I'm gonna rub this off. Like so. D and D I. Why am I doing this? Well, if it the finished product comes out half as good as I think it might, then it's totes. Totes worth it. So there's my three. I'm gonna let those dry. Q Tom Petty. Probably shouldn't be this close breathing in these fumes. So I'm going to let that dry for a bit. The next step is going to be getting some paint. Next step is going to be making some room in this whole paint tree thing here. Making your way in the paint today takes black, black, black. There's our black. So. how much I told you, but the intent is here that I'm going to take the black. The black acrylic paint. That's acrylic, right? Yeah, acrylic. The black acrylic paint. Let me get down to your level. Um, I'm take the black acrylic paint. I'm going to water it down. And with the watery paint, I'm going to do another crazy brushing over all three. And then I'm going to take the paper towel and I'm going to wipe it away fairly quick again. Um, I'm not sure the whole point behind this. Um, I think the stain makes the wood look a little more aged and the paint makes it look a little more worn, maybe? I don't know. Um, but if it turns out half as good as I think it might, like I said, I watched a video. If I can find it, I'll throw it in, 
in the description down below of a young guy that did this. Um, he seemed to know what he was talking about. He seemed like a woodworker by trade or at least uh, very enthusiastic into the hobby. His box that he made looked amazing and it'll look just fitting with the box that I make. Just as a teaser, here is the handle that I'm using for the box. So it should fit pretty well with this aged dark black kind of look, but I'm not sure which of these will fit better. I'm thinking it'll probably be just a regular stain. Um, once you get a little black in that, it'll probably look a little better. And you won't go back. Little known fact. All right, so we'll let that dry. I'm not sure how long it'll take. Maybe it's dry enough now. Oh, it seems kind of dry. This one, yeah. It passes the touch test. So why don't we go throw some... How am I going to water down this paint? Do I have some sort, some sort of thing for water? Hmm. Can you see that? Maybe that'll work. Yeah. Maybe this'll work, this little fishbowl-like thing. I wonder if I put a little tiny bit of paint in there, and then a little tiny bit of water. And it's a water-based paint, so it'll wash out later on. So, I'm not too worried about the... Look how beautifully clean this thing is. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, like I said, it's just a test piece. piece. So, do it up. Double bubble toil and trouble, cauldron something and water bubble. Um, I don't know if you noticed before, but it's always good to shake off your paint, especially if you haven't used them in a while. So it's pretty oily when it came out in the bottom of the jar. Uh, but for this little test, that is not a big deal. Uh, ah, that's enough. Just enough. Just like mom used to make. Mm-mm, good. Ugh. Okay, here we go again. We're back. Our stain looks fairly dry, or at least dry enough for what I'm thinking I need. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit more with some water. It's not dripping yet. It should be fine. It's just a test. It's just a test. Grab some more paper towel. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do with everything, and then I'm gonna come behind, I'm gonna wipe it all off. Wipe it off. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this new piece. I'm gonna lay it down to catch the splish and the splash. And I'm gonna use this old raggedy piece. I'm gonna use this old raggedy piece to do the wipe. Maybe it'd be better if I did it this way. No, I feel this way. Yep, yeah, okay. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it, let's go. Black paint, black paint, what you gonna do? What you gonna do while I'm wiping you? Black paint, black paint, a little bit more. I feel like I mixed up way too much for the amount that I need for this test. I'm gonna put that back in there and I'm gonna proceed to wipe all of this paint right off. And as much of it as I can in the time frame allotted before I start making a mess. I feel has already passed. Hmm. It's looking alright already, honestly. I'm surprised. I thought 
the traditional thinner varnish, the non-gel, was going to be my fave. But it's looking pretty good with the... I should look at you when I talk. I'm look, it's looking pretty good with the uh, that gel and that navy green kind of look. Look at this. Let it dry for a few minutes and we'll have another look. Teddy! Remember Teddy Ruxpin? You old enough to watch that? Yeah. Wooly what's it? Teddy! <laughs> There it is. She looking. It's probably fairly dry right now. It's a very thin coat of paint. Um, she's not looking too bad actually. None of these colors are really rubbing me the wrong way. I find this one the traditional varnish that is <whistles> walnut. It's just a little too dark with the black. I find it just makes it look a little like an aged black. This one here, which is the gel, but the color is... Noise is going off in the background. Um, nope, not that one. The color is... Eluding me at the moment. This one is a gel stain, 606 Colonial Maple. That one looks all right. It looks a little woody and worn, so I don't mind it. But I'd have to say this here one, the Golden Oak, is my favorite. By far. It just has that right kind of look. I think we have a winner. Golden Oak it is. 601, Golden Oak. Gel Stain. That's the one I'm going to go with. Hey, oh, thanks for coming along on this adventure with me. It's been fun. But it's over. Like all good things, it's coming to an end. I was looking at myself up top, not at you. <sighs> Thanks.